What's going on everybody? Two things are happening today. Number one, I've got a damn tripod again. Wow, that's amazing, I know, right? I, I keep forgetting my damn mounts, but now I have it. Number two, we're just gonna do a, a sort of a quick video. I've had this product for a while. This is what it is. It is from Z01 add-ons, and it's just called lift pads. Simple. Basically, the whole premise behind this is, if you've had to lift this car up, you'll know that the back is kind of easy to lift up, and the front kind of sucks unless you have a jack that's specific for a pinch weld, or if you have one of these silly ass things, and even this doesn't fit right. So, basically, what I needed to do before I found out about this was grab this product. Now, I've been using this, it's called a mag pad, and it's a magnetic jack pad. And I'm going to talk about this real quick. So this is what I've been using um, with my jack. I have just a regular three ton uh, Pittsburgh heavy duty jack. It's been serving me well. I got it at Harbor Freight, there's a local one. So the problem with that one is though, it's got a flat head. I don't have the um, pinch weld attachment to it. I'm pretty sure there is one, but I didn't get it. What I've been doing is taking this and there are two magnets in here. Basically, this attaches to the actual pinch weld, and what it does now is it not only lowers it a little bit to clear the side skirt, but it also gives you a much larger face to jack up on, a safer place to jack up on. Now, this is great. This is awesome. It's red. Red's a cool color. So there's a lot of things going for this, right? The problem with this that I found, and it might just be me because I'm a little stupid, we jack the car up, we do the things we need to do with the car in the air, jack the car back down, and a couple times already, I've forgotten all about these, have left them on the car, and the next time we round, I either find a empty box and realize, oh shit, it's still in the car, or we go to jack the car up and I realize it's still on the car. That's not good, it's not smart. I, when I was going through their website, I found this, and immediately I was like, hey guys, uh, let's get this rolling here. Basically what this is gonna do is give you a more permanent lift point. I'm gonna open this up real quick because I talk too much. And I'm gonna show you what I mean. When you open it up, this is all this is. They're not, uh, they're not gonna be fancy packing it for you and anything crazy. Basically all you're getting is a very solid feeling part. It's high strength and it feels great, it feels sturdy. And what you're going to be doing with this is you're going to be putting this up into the pinch weld so if my finger was a pinch weld, I just grab the pinch weld. And then what you're gonna do is on the back, they give you the tool, you're just gonna tighten it down until it clamps onto the pinch weld. And what's gonna happen is this is gonna stay on the car underneath. And anytime you go to jack your car up, you get that lowered part. So now the pinch weld stops here, but this sticks out so it protrudes just enough where you're gonna have the lower part and it's gonna clear the side skirt, but you're gonna have a much larger area to jack up on. That's basically the idea of it. What I'm gonna do now is take the camera, put it under the car, I'm gonna show you what the pinch weld looks like in case you're not familiar with it. You should be by now if you have this car and you actually work on it. If not, you plan on it, this is gonna be good. Um, I'm gonna show you what this does, quick demo, and I'll show you what it does with the jack. And then I'm gonna show you this being installed big install, very time consuming and hard. And then I'm gonna show you it lifting up. And that should do it, so let's get on it. Okay, so it's gonna be a little shakier. We're under the car basically now, sorta. So by the way, excuse the dirty car. It's gonna get cleaned, but it's not getting cleaned right now. This is the unit that we were talking about. Other things that I wanted to cover, some people use hockey pucks as like a place. What you could do is put it on here and have it so it elevates a little higher. That's an option. This right here was also an option, but like I said, this thing doesn't quite fit in that area. This was what I've been using, but I just, like I said, I'm stupid and I keep forgetting it there and I would need a more permanent solution. So, this is gonna go in there. What you're gonna notice before you're about to jack the car up to find the pinch weld is you scour through your side skirt. This is my side skirt, dirtiness and everything. You're gonna see a little arrow here. Okay, can you see that? Can you see that dirty arrow? So, oh, there's a rock chip on the arrow too. I can't be down here, this is bad. Look at all these scuffs and dirt. 
craziness. Right there, right here is the pinch weld. Originally, what had happened is we've had this. As you can see, well, sort of see, the light goes away, that's cool. This protrudes down past that little plastic. It gives you a much larger area to jack up on, so it's been awesome. Again, this is a great product if you want to get something like this. It's really not expensive, neither is the lift pad to be honest with you, but my dopey ass keeps leaving it there. That's not good. So what I'm gonna do real quick is just give you a quick idea of how this works. You go here, you got the pinch weld. There's the pinch weld, it's attached, right? What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your jack, okay? You're gonna come in and you're gonna try your best not to be an idiot, okay? This is the only part that I don't like because okay, you gotta make sure you get it nice and flush. And then basically what you're gonna do is just lift up. Now, I'm not gonna lift the whole car up right now. As you can see, if I wanted to, we are going up. We're gonna let this down. And we're gonna move that out of the way. This works, it's a great product, but we're gonna try something else. I'm not entirely sure how this is supposed to install. I assume it's like this then. This is kind of, sort of, exactly why I really want to get these pads on, and I hope they still work. This is part of the pinch weld here, but it looks like it was jacked up weird here, and it looks like it was pushed out. See how it was, looks like it separated, and it flared out, so I'm going to have to straighten that to get this in, which is a big pain in the ass. And very annoying. All right, guys, I had to do stupid stuff to be able to get this to even sit flush. I had to take this tool and I had to try to bend the metal so that it was straight again, enough for me to get this clamp on. And we're gonna tighten this down. And we're gonna see how this works. There's two sides. It seems like it should fit fine doing it this way. Just use your other hand to support it and push up so that this part here is flush. I'm excited now. I was a little disappointed. I thought this was going to turn into a fail video and I was going to have to call them and say, Hey, uh, hey guys, you sure this was for a charger? That's where it was heading. They were about to get a phone call. Say you're coming down, you're like, doo, 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 just like that, because that's how everybody walks and hums. You're going to poke your little head down, right? Now, what's cool about this is they strategically placed it so that you would read the text, and the text is going to say their web address, and it's going to say lift point. This is what it looks like now down here, okay? And it's sturdy. This ain't going anywhere. So what I recommend is making sure that this is tight, so take your time, make sure the, uh, the hex bolts are pushed in as hard as possible. This is definitely going to be a good solution. On the back, what makes me confident is that back here, this is flush with the, the chassis. It's got some points to push on, so you're not just like lifting on just the unit, but it is pushed on pinch weld. So it's pushed on a strong part of the car, which isn't a problem. So I'm going to set this camera up at an angle here. So you can see me jack it up, so you know the car's not going to get destroyed. Can I get a... Can I get an amen? Can I get a hallelujah? No way. Hold on. Alright, so you can see the jack pad. I'm going to put the jack in here. Enter the jack. So we're going to make sure we're just hovered over. We're going to make sure we're involved. So we're on it. I'm going to give this one a heave-ho here. Alright, this is looking good. We are, uh, we are jacked up a little bit. We're not jacked up crazy, but there is 
stress on the jack and it works so we're going to lower it down success all right everybody that's it that was um probably more of an ordeal than some of you are going to have to endure like i said i had to get under there i had to bend some of this like pushed over and flowered out metal that just shouldn't have been looking like that i'm assuming again i'm not a structural engineer i don't know but to me this is where it goes there's pictures of it there's other people that had success with this so i knew <laughs> i can't mess this up it's on i just showed you it works i'm gonna go put the other one on as far as stability goes as far as looks go as far as functionality goes honestly i say this is great but this is also great there's no knocking this if you can only bother wanting to do this you don't want a permanent thing on there to me this looks cool as you saw from the bottom view you can see it the lettering just perfectly hangs below it jacks fine i know it's always going to be there so i don't have to worry about do i have these did i accidentally leave them on are they in my garage are they not with me i'll always have this you know how i'm obviously way too honest one thing i just want to mention before we end this whole video is the one thing i did not love let me get down low for this conversation one thing i did not love about this that i absolutely adore about this was the feeling of stability i don't know how else to explain it but when this is sitting on a pinch weld and the jack is lifting it up if you don't have that jack f and dead center my fear is that say it's on right and something happens in the jack pushes or pulls and while you're lifting it or something happens my fear is that it's going to do one of these i don't know why but i just maybe it'll never happen and i'm just a complete idiot but it just doesn't feel super 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 sturdy like it got the job done i've probably jacked this car up at least 50 times with this so that brings me to this what I love about this piece here, this is the star of the show. This right here, as I pointed to, I don't know if I made it a clear enough, this rests against a body part. So it's flush. Now when you're lifting this up, you've got the whole bottom to jack up on, but this is pushing not only on the pinch weld, but on body. And that just structurally makes sense to me. I, I just don't know any other way of saying it. They obviously took the time to design it and it was designed for that reason as so, always thank you so much for watching i truly appreciate each and every single one of you i'm going to put a link for this end for this i believe this is on back order or it's sold out right now but you can contact zl1 add-ons i do have a discount code for zl1 add-ons it's my name honestly ocd it could get you a little bit of a percentage off of the mag pads the lift pads wicker bill whatever you want from there they have a lot of products go check them out they're a pretty cool company Really cool people, very, very nice, easy to get along with, and the products are awesome. So that's about it, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.